All right, so we're going to do a couple of finishing touches. Uh, we're ready for photos this week. I've got a, about an hour of cleanup in the studio, but there's a few things I just want to finish. There's also a guy... I think one of my kids is showing up. I can tell because I have a ring. There's motion in the backyard. This dude... Let me see if I can find it. He he didn't really ask a question. He posed a question. Let's see. Um, I like when you run up. I find experiment with a different impulse responses. Same journey, same thing. Okay, so this dude on yesterday's video about the uh, getting the... Um, the phase and polarity and, and, and the so we you know to me the, the the amps obviously sound nice and tight the Kemper is cool when I do the DI guitar and I line it up and then I use Amplitube or any kind of software sin or software software simulator it, it always it sounds good up to a point if I turn it up too much I start to get like a filtery combey kind of thing right this dude on yesterday's video Re said this this is a guy named Catman. I've never done this before but but he wrote this and I thought about it I thought you know what I'm gonna try it James I'm on the same journey with Amplitude 5 this is Catman uh, something to try print the amp the Amplitude track then check the phase that's probably a really good idea I don't know if it solves the problem, but there's there may be latency within, obviously, the software, right? So, let's see if the plug-in shifts it. So this is to answer Catman's question. We're doing it live. Or not live. I don't know. I'm live. I don't know. I haven't done it yet. We're going to see what happens. So we're, gonna, we're coming back to here. So we're going to get rid of the Kemper. This is the two guitars. This is one is Marshall to his Mesa. I'm gonna get I'm not gonna do them uh, left and right, we're just gonna go right up the middle. Strong like bull. Now when I bring up that amplitude, I'm gonna for me I notice it starts to get strange when I get about halfway up. So we're listening to it. Remember, this DI is Amplitude. I've got the uh, whatever plug-in, uh, you know, the, the, the VH4. I find it to be common with, with anything with as far as um, any amp. And I also find it with any platform. I have, a, I have a bunch of them. I have all the UA. I have a bunch of, uh, you know, TSC. I've, you know, I had Neural DSP in here for a while. Um, I have, you know, all of them. They all seem to do this same thing. So listen to it as I turn up the simulator. But remember, this is not printed. This is in real time. It's doing this thing. Now, somebody had commented that they, they liked it. They said, oh, I like the way it sounds. That's cool. That, to me, is phasey. Like, that's weird sounding. I think it would, like, if you're listening to this on studio monitors, you probably are hearing that. Maybe not. Maybe you like it. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But, but where you bring the Kemper up, you don't get that. You don't get that. But what he's saying is maybe it's because it's processing this plugin and that even though it may look like it's in phase here, it's creating problems. So what we're going to do is we're going to come here. We're going to find the where this this like we're going to put it right here and we're going to put DI. That's exactly where that DI hits. It starts right there at that sample. And keep in mind, now it's going to have the, the amplitude effect on it, so everything will be probably a little... It's going to look different than this, probably. Um, so, yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come here. Oh, I want to look at this. 
490, 490 samples, no, no uh, phase flip. So I guess in theory, it's gonna burn this in when I do the commit. Let's try it, just so we know it's 490, right? So um, we'll do not six, it's, it's gonna get rid of this anyway, probably it's gonna put a new track, but here we go. Um, we'll go commit. And normally I do um, hide and make inactive. I'm just gonna put make inactive so we'll have both of them. We can see them side by side. And there it is. And now it's processing that amplitude track, that amplitude into the track. Let's see what happens. Let's see, let's see if Catman is onto something here. Or is he Catman from Catmandu? That's with a K, isn't it? Isn't that like India, Catmandu? It's like a Bob Seger song. This is a long track, too, because I've been tracking on this for a couple days, so that's probably like five, six minutes of, yeah, 553, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Okay, so now, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it came out good, all right. We're gonna enlarge it a little bit. We're gonna go back to this click and we're gonna look. Whoa. Oh yeah, because it's showing this. Right, I get it. Yeah, it looks almost like if this, let's say it was going off of this. Oh wow, look at how the phase has changed. This is the original here. And this is now the printed. Oh, is it, did it move it forward? Like what the heck, what? You see that, isn't that weird? And, and it, did it flip the phase and move it forward? It's hard to tell with this though, I, I don't know. All right, well let's see what happens. Let's, it's turned down, let's try it. Yeah, see, I wouldn't even know where to start with this at this point. That that's just strange the way. Let's let's take the di here. Let's make it active. Let's kill this. So now here's here's the amplitude track with amplitude on it and time adjuster. Right. I'm gonna bring up the printed track. Staying accurate, cause you hear it. It's not getting super yeah. filtery. Yeah. Can I go to Ryan's house? Not right now. Let me let me finish this. That's Dad, yeah. I just want to go there so we, so we can come back. I just want to go there, pick him up, come back. I'll text his dad. Please. No, give me one minute. Let's go to the beginning on the ticks. Let's listen to the ticks. Yeah. Hold on, Jake. Yeah, it's staying connected. That is weird. I wonder if this is just noise. Yeah, that must be what it is. You know what? I'm going to redo this. Give me one second, guys. Let's go delete. What I'm going to do is get rid of everything that's not being played. So you see this noise here? That's what it's picking up. I see now. All right, I'm learning. So we're gonna come like that. We'll do the same thing here. Yeah, see, it's, it's that little before is picking up. So it's like not realistic. This will, should give us more of a, a better idea. Man. I don't know, Catman. It look see this is this seems like Let me hear this. Let me see about this if I get rid of it. I'm just gonna get rid of all of that. No, you know what? That's probably the pick scraping. I'll leave the pick scrape. 
Okay. So now what I've got is I've got my my click track isolated so there should be no overspray, so to speak, in the world of being a house painter, which I used to be. We're going to do commit. We'll just make it inactive. No, we'll just keep it. Yeah, just do nothing. It doesn't matter. Dad. Dad. What? Jake, I'm making a video. I said, Dad. give me five minutes. Dad. No, I don't want you going over there. No, I'll I'll drive you. No. Dad, Dad, what? Dad, the only reason I want to go is because I want to pick you. I want to pick no, you. I know, but I don't want you walking on Fernwood right now. I don't have to walk on Fernwood. I can walk on Tyler Street. Yeah, but then you're crossing over Fernwood. You know, I'll be safe. I'll be really safe. It's just that one cross. You be careful. Okay. You stay off the road. You look both ways. Okay. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Please, okay? Okay, Dad. But I don't want you staying there. That seems different. Yeah, it is different. When do you get that? I've had that. Can, 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 can... I don't want you staying there. You could bring him back here, I okay? Know. I know. Right. Ooh, okay. Wow. All right. So there it is. So there is how much processing. Right? So we'll go. There's the first peak, which is that. And it flips the phase. Oh, my God. This almost makes me just not want to try to even mess with this. Yeah. It's 800. And, it takes 800 samples. So, Catman... Let me get rid of that. So here's the printed. But now it's like 801 samples. I, I don't even know. Let's try something. And I'm ending this because I'm, I'm not interested in this. I'm not going to. You know what? So we'll just go 800 for argument's sake and we'll flip that phase because it did flip the phase. It looked like it flipped it anyway. <laughs> And that's it. Catman, you were right. Because there it is. It's still a little nerdy, but that's it. That's better. As opposed to this. Yeah, you hear the hollowness. So here's here's with amplitude activated right here. And now printed and moved back 800 samples and phase flipped. Well, I could use this. It's just, it, you know, it takes a little bit of effort. But now we know. Does everybody understand what, what, what we just did? Because that is huge. That's a good thing. So, it's still a little nerdy sound. Not really, though. It sounds cool. It sounds good. And now here's what the... Kill that. Here's Kemper. Now all of them. Straight up the middle, baby. That's good. So if, if I desire to integrate, if I desire to ever integrate Amplitude into my rhythm tracks, that's how I would do it. And honestly, it's not a big deal. It takes a minute. But it makes a huge difference because this is much cooler than this. Let me go. This is much cooler than this. Yeah, that's, that's nasty. I don't like that. Okay.
Wow, something's bleeping too. It's like there's something, I don't know what it is. The, the amplitude is like bleep. You hear that one? It's like, huh? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Well, anyway, there you go. Right? Yeah. Okay. So there's that. All right. So we're going to do two more quick things. One, we're going to get rid of all this. We're going to open this Kemper up. And we are going to play a new profile made by my friend, Jason Constantine. And let's take Gander. So that's it, that's on, it's on, it's it, that's on, it's it, that's it. Okay, 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 Jason Constantine. He even gets his own folder. So here is lead. Let me get rid of the legacy. Let's get rid of it. Let's just do it. I like to hear these things bone dry. So nice, huh? job buddy right it sounds nice this is dude's first profile it's some modded 74 some dude named mike morin modded it 
Mike Morin. Morin. Yeah. So there it is. Jason Constantine. It's not rated. I got it. It's not rated. What is that? Pornography? Yeah. It's 100 watts, 74. Modded Marshall. Humbucker Duncan. Yeah, look at that. 4x12. 4x12. Greenbacks. Yeah. And he's got, he says, configuration 2 to 12. I don't know what that is, but... SM57 Cone Edge. Yeah, that's, that's the good spot for that. All right. All right, here we go. Last part of this video. Oh! Did you guys think I did a decent job de dealing with my kid? I am. I let him win this one. I don't always let him win. Trust me. I'm not. I'm no pushover. Ugh, it's not easy. You know, these kids, they don't come with owner's manuals. This is... So, the story behind this is... There was a session guitar player in L.A. that used to work at the studio. A guy named Eric. And he had a blue, kind of a road beaten up, you know, whatever you'd call it. Well, I don't know. It weathered looking. There's a word for it. I can't think what it is. Uh, uh, relict type of a Nash Telecaster that was at the studio. He was recording and we fell in love with this thing and he ended up like going on the road or something and he's like, hey, why don't you guys keep it and use it and then when I get back, I'll grab it. Well, we had it for about three or four months and man, I fell in love with that guitar and when he came back and took it, it was kind of a bummer. And the, his friend that was the guy that worked in the studio, Mr. Dan McMains, and you usually could hear him through the McMains, not the McMonitors, but in, shh, try the veal. Uh, he said, well, why don't, why don't we get a, why don't we pick up one of those road warns? They're cheap, like four or 500 bucks. Let's find out what pickups they put in that Nash. I think it was like a 57 Nash or something. And they are 50. I don't know what it was, but so I went to Mesa Boogie at the time. My friend John is the main dude over there. He knew Bill. He's like, here, he gave me Bill's phone number. I call him up and I'm like, hey, uh, what pickups do you put in those 57 Telecasters or whatever? He said, Lawler Specialties. I'm like, okay. So we found this guitar. It came with the three bridge position, the three. The triple tailpiece thing. I don't like that. I want to be able to intonate each string. That's just me. Um, so I found a vintage saddle with six. And we gutted this thing. And we put special tees in it. Lawlers. And this became my $700 Nash knockoff. And I used it for years. And the last number of years, the, the, the action has just gotten kind of weird. And I... If I, if I drop the action, it would fret out really bad. It's got that like vintage ra radius, which I don't really like. And uh, I tried to, it, you couldn't tighten the, the truss rod. It was as tight as it was going. So it was, it was, it was like when you put your finger on the first fret and like the 17th, it was just too much, there was too much bow in it. Anyway, I took it to this dude out here that came recommended from a friend this dude named Elliot Pride. He's a guitar tech here in Nashville. And I said, Elliot, save it. And he did. And I got it back yesterday. I can't believe what he did with it. He did like a whole fret. He couldn't, I think he couldn't get the neck perfectly straight either. And he, but the thing came with like these enormous jumbo frets. I didn't care. I'm like, shave it down. I don't like it anyway like that. I like it better now. Like it plays almost, it almost feels more like a Les Paul. It's a little flatter. They're still wide, but he took out all this meat here to flatten it out. He flattened the radius. He recrowned it. He reset it up. He restrung it. He also, all the, the, the screws and the tailpiece here, they were all sticking out. They're real tall. So I, I said, hey, can you, you know, file them down? So we filed them down. So now when my hand is here, it feels great. And uh, 
Yeah, he set it up and intonated it. And... It is back. It would be like, it just went, you know, oh my God. Oh, I knocked the thing off. All right, well, I'll deal with that later. Anyway, this dude that did this is my new dude. Elliot Pride. This is, this is Jason's uh, profile now with my Telecaster. I think sounds great. And this is going to be nice for like... I don't know. I got a whole bunch... Uh, I got I picked up a bunch of new profiles from my buddy Bert Mullendijk. So it's going to... It's on and cracking. Oh, here's his... Here's uh, Michael Britt's 69... That's great. You know what I've been liking is his Diaz. I don't know how to, I don't know if this isn't like alphabetical. Let me, I guess if I, how does it come in naturally? Does it, is it based on date? I don't know. I don't want to mess with it though. So I don't know if I'll screw the thing up. Let me see if I can find that Diaz. Oh, the match. This got a f bigger wider neck um it's not really it's not bad it's just like it takes me a couple minutes that's one thing about like having like kind of an extensive guitar collection for uh he's got rock man we're gonna have some fun with this we're doing you know being like a session guy none of my get you know, here's the diaz not all my guitars are <laughs> great guitar I lost the, the button now it fell down there I, I see it though I've got I've got it in my sights see I'm missing that this takes a few you know once you play it like 10 minutes you fall back into it all right anyway that's that's the end of this video so this was the last guitar I was waiting on. Look at this. This is all my comfort. There's a lot of stuff in here, man. There's a lot of stuff in here. Little Walter. Little Walter. Yeah, I used to, I played those. Those were big in uh, somebody, one of those shops, the Fiber King. All right, anyway, I can't get into this. No. All right, anyway, that's it. So, uh... The next step is Rob Chandler is coming out this week. He's going to stay here for like four or five days. We're going to be doing so much nerding with guitars and mixing and guitars and mixing and guitars and mixing. And we're going to get pictures. So the, the rig is set now. Now I've just got to clean everything up and 
get somebody in here with a camera. I think I got somebody, a camera that, that shoots good at like low light. So I don't want to light the place up. I just want somebody to come in here and take pictures the way it is. And it's lit now because the door's open. Once you close the door, it's, it's a little, little doomy in here. But I like it like that. That's how I like to work, you know? Anyway, thanks for the question, Catman. Catman do! Like and subscribe. Or as the, as the, Hodge twins say, you can do whatever the you want.